Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we make informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. Before we begin our video, we always like to start off our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trader recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, option, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose all of your money. Any strategies we show today are for informational purposes. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is still your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. As we said, this is our Forex Technical Analysis video update. In each of our videos, we will review the prior system's price action to come up with key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the crude and gold charts to come up with leading sentiment. We'll come up with a low volatility watch list, an inside bar watch list, and we'll have an economic uh, calendar update to see what could affect our future and open trades. And finally, if there's time, we'll have an education spotlight at the end. Let's pull up the charts. As usual, we are starting off with the gold daily chart. And we can see we talked about this descending wedge. Uh, first, we talked about uh, the support that might come in here. At 1790, and once we broke that, we started talking about 1765 here, and then of course we've broken that. Not only did we break that, but we've broken the uh, 50 moving average. So likely moves here are going to bring us down to the 200 moving potentially. We can see that there is going to be a little support right here where we're at, that where we had our little rising three here and our gap up move, um, and then after that. Now you might come down into this range here, uh, which is where we based out here for a little bit. So that's going to be watching. And maybe if we do continue lower, by the time we get down here to 1576, uh, the 200 moving average will be around there also. So we'll have to see. We can see that we did accumulate here at 1736. Um, and then we kind of free fell from there. So 1736 price level is definitely something we'll have to watch if we can get back up there before we start to see move higher but as we said and you can really see that in this right here that we really accumulated in this 1780 range and so it's going to take a lot to really get us back up especially to retest the highs so a weak goal what does that mean for our dollar currency pairs starting off with the euro dollar and we can see we did in fact test our, our uh, wick low here and now we're putting in an inside bar with that wick low um, kind of a doji inside bar. If we zoom out for a second, we can start to see where we might be going. Uh, let's grab our tool here, see what we got going on here. You can see what we broke. We already broke that uh, with uh, September's candle. Um, so now we'll have to see what happens happens in here. Uh, probably 1. 1. 1.3 is an area to watch uh, if we continue to move lower. Uh, but you can also see why we bounced it to 1.33. There is some, some support action in there. But we'll have to let price action tell us. We're clearly below our long term moving average. We are back in the buy zone, uh, below our long term moving average. The dollar, for the most part, remained in control. We got a little peak of the euro here, but the dollar moved back into control. Just an ever slight divergence, which allowed us to get this move back down here. Uh, what we saw is that the euro is moving sideways to down, and now the dollar was going sideways and now moved up. Uh, right now, we can see fractionally the buyers are in control and we're neutral. So. In the end, this is a good place to start looking uh, for a higher probably move upwards, but we'll have to let the charts play it out. The pound dollar. Also, we, we've broken through our key level here, and we've made a real nice push move down. Let's zoom out on this one. And we'll see here that we do have um, some action here where buyers have found value in this 1.53 price level. So I'm actually going to go ahead and, and draw that in there um, because of these wicks. And we know that that's probably our next area of support. 
Uh, as far as our one hour time frame, we're below our long term moving average. We're obviously in a buy, buy zone right now. We see the dollar clearly in control showing that divergence, although we got a little move up here at the end for the pound. But the Dow overall is trending lower. And again, we're seeing a trending lower on the dollar. However, it started to level off here as the pound continued to move lower. Sellers are in control, and we're starting to get into that oversold uh, price level where we can start seeing a potential move higher. And you can just see that, again, where we are is where buyers are probably going to find value at that 1.53 price level. Finally, we have the dollar franc. What a beautiful move upwards. We've been watching it 8.9. Uh, look at the volume as we push through. We got the volume to push us through. And so now we have to well, we'll scroll over for a second and see if we got anything. Um, uh, well, maybe 0 0.91. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit tougher. Probably right in here, 0.92. That gets us the swing low here and into that area there. Um, definitely something to watch. Uh, let's uh, scroll back over and look at the monthly just to see if that gives us anything also. Uh, it does match up with some of our monthly price action here. So again, 0.93 is what we'll be, what we'll be watching. But definitely, you can just see this move higher, possibly on a monthly. Look at it trying to come up here to the 20 moving average. We are in a sell zone. We're above our long term moving average. Uh, and then the dollar has once again taken control. It's been in control for a while. The franc did take a little control that gave us our sideways price action. But we're seeing here, there's that move down in the franc and our sideways to up move here. And with the uh, the dollar ever slightly, the looks like the buyers are control, but we are moving sideways neutral. But again, we got the volume to get us through our resistance, and now we're into our next trading channel. As we come to our watch list, we have our low volatility watch list, which is our one hour time frame using Bollinger Bands, where we watch the upper and lower bands and see if we can get a break in the direction of the trend. We have the Euro dollar, the Aussie dollar. And a dollar franc, and then for our inside bar watch list, we're watching the day's range, our Friday's range, and compared to Thursday, and we've got a ton of inside bars. We've got the euro dollar, the pound dollar, the dollar Canadian, the dollar yen, the euro yen, and the pound yen. And technically, you could say the Aussie dollar, although it did break a little bit lower than Thursday's low, but um, certainly a lot of inside bars. So what we'll hope to see is some breaks in the direction of the existing trend. As we come to our education spotlight, we've been talking a lot about trading plans, so we definitely want to give you a, an actual definition. As you can see, a trading plan is the formalized documentation of how you will implement your trading process. It's your entries, it's your exit, it's how you manage a trade, it's your goals, your objectives, it's your style, it's your time frame, it's your preferred market, forex, futures, options, whatever it may be. Um, how much money you're going to pull out each week. Uh, for you know bills and for yourself, how much were you going to invest? Uh, you know, time frame. All of these things are are wrapped inside of your training plan. And if you can't answer those questions, you shouldn't be trading. At least not with real cash. But by documenting all of this, we can centralize our pro our process, and we can remove the emotions out of our trading because we're going to follow to the T a documented, proven, back tested system. As you know, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We have a page on Facebook, Are You Financially Literate, where we talk about all money issues, personal finance issues. We have our free five uh, course video on high probability trading. It will give you an insight on how you can design what you should have a part of your uh, high probability trading setups, which I hope will give you a gauge into who we are as coaches, where we can help you one-on-one -on -one develop that personal trading plan and help you develop that personal uh, plan uh, and the trader's mindset so you can follow that personal plan. Cashback for Forex trades. For trading Forex, why not get the rebates? Doesn't change your spread to the conditions. It's just rebates for your trading. And finally, automated signals. If you want those, we can get those. 
Of course, we want to make sure it matches who you are as a trader and your investing style and your risk tolerance. Uh, it could be traded automatically or you can get the signals and trade them yourself. But in the end, document, back test, prove. That's how we can overcome our fears. That's how we can st overcome our emotions and be a successful and consistent trader and be able to pull the trigger. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.